everybody, it's Gail from The Happy Stamper, thehappystamper.com. I am here to share with you a little house tour, so to speak. I thought I would share with you some of my cute fall decorations. I did have to take one down and it's out in the garage. My cat was eating it. That's a real bummer. But what you're looking at right now, this is my front door. And this is a really cute milk pail I got at a county fair. And that's just a cute little ladder with a birdhouse and whatnot um, that I also got. Uh, but that one I got a couple years ago. So you can see I love birdhouses. My house is country French. So let me show you what I've got inside. There's some really cute things. Come on. So I just have over in this little alcove a, um, oh, and I didn't turn on my little pumpkins, but I've just got some little candle tea lights that light up in there, and that's really cute too. But I thought I would just share with you uh, this centerpiece, which is just lovely, is on the table. Well, my cat was eating the pretty pumpkin thing that I got. So I had to move my pretty pumpkin into the dining room and way up high. See it up there? Mm -hmm. That's what I had to do because Mr. Kittens was uh, gnawing on it and then he'd get sick. So my pretty pumpkin is ginormous. You can't really tell from this distance but it's pretty big, so that's in the dining room, and at least you can see it a little bit when you come into the house, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to move slowly here. I just wanted to show you this little pumpkin that I got at uh, Hobby Lobby. It's so cute. It reminds me of a sweater that I had in like grade school, but isn't this just the cutest? I thought it was adorable, so I just had that thrown over here. Uh, like I said, I've tried to do things out here and the cat eats it. So that's just in a little alcove that's in the front hall. Over to this side, I didn't do anything in the living room, so we're not even gonna go in there, but I will share with you all the cute little doodads that I have. And so yeah, let me take you into the family room. I don't do a whole lot in the kitchen. I did have a really cute um, chair, like I had said, and uh, the cat ate that too, so <clears throat> that's so frustrating. But this is just a battery-powered candle. I threw some um, kernels in it and this is just a ring that I had I don't even know where I got that but I love this thing and then this is our beautiful mural that's in the front hall it's really pretty really pretty so I hope I'm not making you sick but there's a little red cardinal up there and that makes me think of my mom and my dad yeah that's all good okay then we have some more just painting stuff. So yeah, here's what I've got. This is our family room. When you come in, you can enter on two sides. And this is what I have. I will try and uh, remember where I got a lot of this stuff. These little candles, those I've had forever. I think I got those at Hobby Lobby or Joann's. Then I have a little welcome fall pillow on this beautiful silk uh, chair. And then over in this corner next to Miss Maggie's little bed, I have this pretty little pumpkin, metal pumpkin. I have a darling scarecrow that is painted. And there's a little itty bitty mouse down there. Mm -hmm. I love these little boopy candles. I love lighting. This is another one of my faves. So this is all here, just down a little vignette that I have in the family room. And then over here, 
just a cute little glass hurricane that my upline actually gave me. Um, I had all the girls here last fall for stamping. So she brought me that as a little hostess gift and I just love it. And a little pumpkin and a picture of my hubby and I. And then of course there's all May May's toys. And yeah, that's the backyard. Looks out on the um, golf course. Yeah, big high ceilings too. It's a beautiful house. We are really blessed. I, I just, oh gosh, I knew it was the one for us. So then on my sectional here, I have a cute little pillow that says Happy Fall. I've got some more cute little things back here. I have on my coffee table this pretty little number, and that's a battery-powered one. I just made the centerpiece. I just got flowers and things from Michael's, but it's a battery-powered candle, and it's in crackled glass. It just went on, and I got this from QVC. Originally, I chose the acorn one, and it broke. It arrived broken. So I sent it back and had to get this one, but I do love it. And over here I just have next to my boy's picture a cute little owl and by my grandfather and my daughter's picture I have a cute little scarecrow. So not too much over there, just a wee bit, just to freshen it up. And I have my lollipop tree on the kitchen table, I'll show you that. I've got a little scarecrow guy on that little uh, uh, buffet. Yeah, okay. And then here's my fireplace, you guys. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I love it. I call it my Gaston fireplace. So I can't wait to build a fire in it. I am so ready, but it has been blazing hot here, you guys. Even in Chicago, uh, it has been like in the 80s still, and it's September 20th. Oh my gosh, crazy. So let me take you in a little bit closer. I'll show you my cute little light-up pumpkin. And dang it all, if my kitty, Mr. Kittens, hasn't gnawed on that a little bit too. But I got that, if you can believe it. Um, you would think that came from the little town I live in that has like all these quaint shops. I got that at... Menards. Can you believe it? And I got this cute scarecrow. Love it. So I just hung some uh, garland up here, some pumpkins. I collect Anna Lee's. You either really like them or you really don't. I like them. I love them. I think they're darling. And so yeah, these are my fall ones. I enjoy them tremendously. So cute. Then I have this beautiful, this is actually a centerpiece that I put up there. And I have had this for almost over 30 years. Can you believe it? But I'm very careful about stuffing my bows. And yeah, that's how I keep it looking the way I have it. Then I have a cute banner here. And it says, Happy Fall, y'all. Super cute. Love the burlap thing. And the garland goes all the way around. And then I've got more Annalise over here. Love them. I love that little guy with the leaves and the acorn. Super cute. And then I've got another pumpkin up there. And it goes all the way around. And then on this side of the fireplace, I have a wreath that, I'm not even sure where I bought that. I can't recall. Uh, the little scarecrow guy I got again at Menards and that's just a picture of our kids. That was when we went to Turks and Caicos for our 25th honeymoon. Um, yeah, that's a little scarecrow. And I just love that little placemat. I don't know why, but I do. So let me take you here into the kitchen. And again, I don't do a whole lot, but... This is one of my favorite. My dinner is cooking, so I always change up and I use themed placemats and things like that. But this is my lollipop tree. And if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, 
you know, things like that. I always post it and I always show the different holidays. I change it up for all the different holidays. But it is so cute, you guys. I love this. It is probably one of my most favorite decorations that I have. I put it up all the time. Yes, my kids, I've got a senior in high school, one in college and one out of college. And you know what? They look forward to seeing it. I just love it. I've got Easter, Christmas, birthdays. It's just, it makes me happy. Little things like this make me happy. So yeah, that's my lollipop tree. And I'm going to put my hand in front of here so I don't um, make you dizzy. I've just got a little centerpiece there, some leaves over there by the window. And of course, it wouldn't be fall without a little squirrel and some little nuts because I think he's just the cutest little guy. I had to move him. Um, so yeah, that's it you guys. That is my tour of my home. I hope you enjoyed all my fall decorations. I am still trying to find the ones that I had outside by the front door. And yeah, don't know where those are, but that's what happens when you move 850 miles. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any of your own fall decorations, I would love to see them. Share pictures or videos over on my Facebook page. I would love to check them all out. So thanks for visiting with the Happy Stamper. I hope you enjoyed this little tour and have a great day. Bye, guys.